Good morning everyone! How was your week? I feel like I have not filmed a Friday Loves in a month because it's been about a month. Um, I have had a great past month. I have been really busy and this entire next year is going to be just very busy in general. And so I feel bad when I can't get videos up as I want to. Um, but I did get some videos up for you even though I, outside of YouTube, have been very busy. We've been doing some family traveling. We had family in town. And I know a few of you were missing my Friday Loves and I told you we'd be back and it's back. <laughs> I'm going to try really hard to get Friday Loves up every day, not every day, every Friday this month. <sighs> I'm going to try. Um, anyways, we've been traveling. Um, my family came into, my parents came into town and we did a little bit of, um, a little excursion in the Rocky Mountains. I'll insert a few pictures here. Don't mind the sweatshirt. I did not bring a warm enough coat. I underestimated how chilly it was going to be and so I had to wear my dad's sweatshirt. So it wasn't exactly fashionable, but I was at the top of the mountains. So who really cares? Um, anyways, so We've been busy doing that. We had family in town. Um, I had pre-recorded those videos, so I actually haven't sat down and chit-chatted with you guys in about two weeks. So if I'm a little off my game, that is why. If I seem a little scatterbrained, it's because we have a million and one things going on at once, and there's just a lot of things to do, and I'm just... <laughs> that's how I feel right now. Um, let me address the obvious. Um, I went and got my bangs trimmed um, by someone that uh, has never cut my bangs, and... Um, Let's just say they got a little short, and so the whole swooping to the side thing isn't going to happen right now because they're like this short when I swoop them. So we're rocking the full bang. Um, I'm not really sure how I feel about it. Let me know if this is like a yes or a mm, I don't know, Chelsea. Um, my husband's not really on board with it. He says I doesn't have I don't have the um, face shape for it. I don't know what that means, but. I'm just doing it because the other option is not a good one and I cannot pin them back because Lord knows my my forehead's the size of the Grand Canyon. So we need to cover it up. Anyways, welcome if you are new. I'm sorry for another long intro. As usual, I have lots of good things to talk about. So let's start. Um, first things first, my wine. Um, we've been drinking different wines and so I've been buying kind of some of the same ones I've always showed you. So when we were up in the mountains, we went to a... Uh, Wine, not a winery, that would be awesome. We went to a liquor store and I saw this wine here. I even left the price tag on it. $9.99. I've never tried it before. It's called Velvet Crush. I was hoping it would be as amazing as the Menage Trois Silk that I shared with you guys recently. It's not as smooth. Um, this is a Cabernet. Uh, 2011, it says Central Coast of California. Yes. Um, so it's smooth very smooth. It is silky, but not as silk as the Menage Trois. And I feel like the Menage Trois I like better because it's more fruit forward. It's a, it's a little bit more fruity, whereas this is a little bit more almost oaky, a little bit more not too spicy. Um, let's see, what does it say? Lush blackberry, black cherry, brown sugar, vanilla. I don't know. I like the other one better, but this is still a good option. So if you've never tried the Velvet Crush, Sorry, my window open because it's supposed to be 50 degrees and then this afternoon it's going to rain. So I like to film with my window open because these lights get so hot. So anyways, this is a good one. I do enjoy it. Um, I also have my door open because I'm actually filming right now with my kids here because I'm going to film another video after this when my husband's home on lunch because I can't film in the afternoons because they don't nap anymore. So I'm trying to, and the reason I say that is because then they get a little a little tired even though they don't want to nap so I need to be like present or they get into trouble. So right now they're watching movies so if I have to edit out some things or run off that is why. Um, the next thing I am absolutely loving, absolutely loving and I'm bringing this to you because I think you would really enjoy this handbag. Um, this is the Rebecca Minkoff Love Crossbody Handbag. So I got mine in gunmetal. This is the gunmetal option. It also comes with or you could also choose to either get the gold or the silver. I opted for the gunmetal because I thought it was the most edgy, like 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 an edgier kind of metal, not as classic as gold, which I love gold. That is like what I gravitate towards. But I wanted something a little more casual, something a, a purse that would be a little bit more use or a little bit more universal, something that would take me from day to night. Um, and I felt like the gold was just a little bit too dressy. I thought this was a little bit more casual, a little bit more understated. 
Also, this is going to match my leather jacket. Um, so this is um, the Love Crossbody Bag. It has the little Rebecca Minkoff logo right there. It has a pocket right here. Not a huge one, but one you can, you know, like stick your phone in uh, when you're wearing it and just grab. This can be worn as a crossbody. It can be worn on your shoulder, or you can take off these, uh, these handles and loop it around and double it up like this and carry it like this. So I will insert some clips of me uh, wearing it here so that you can see it on my body. But before I do that, I wanted to show you a little bit more about it. Um, it has the quilted uh, front here, which I love quilted details. I think that's just classy. It just dresses up the handbag a little bit more. You also can take off the, uh, what are these called? Take off the straps and carry it as a clutch. That might be, well, no, you can definitely get a, get a good grip on it here. I also love that this has the same lines, but is way cheaper than the Chanel version of this style of handbag. Um, I can't afford Chanel, maybe someday, but right now this is definitely a more affordable option. Now this is real leather in case you were curious. Um, I'm not a handbag person, never used to be, except for this past year I've kind of gotten into it. Prior to this past year, though, it wasn't really on my radar to spend money on. Um, we didn't really, you know what I mean, raising babies, you're not thinking about handbags. And so now that I've learned a little bit more about them and investing in them, they last, you know, like I've bought inexpensive handbags, several of them over the course of my lifetime, but do I own any of them anymore? No, I don't because they wear out, they break, they get holes in them, you end up tossing them in the trash and starting over. Well, something like this is real leather. You're not going to toss this in the trash. You can wear this and keep this for years. So definitely worth the investment if you're thinking about buying or purchasing a nice handbag. I'm on board. I'm on board that train. So anyways, it has a, um, like a notch closure. It actually can be closed on any of these three open notches here, which is kind of cool. And then the inside's just really simple. It's just an open compartment. Sorry if this clangs on my thing here. It's just an open compartment, and then it has one, two little pockets up front here for like, I don't know, what you would want to put in there, lip gloss or something. Um, it has one zippered compartment where I tend to keep uh, my tampons, extra keys for my car, or whatever, and then another little slip pocket right here. So this is not something you're buying for the purpose of toting around a bunch of things. It's just something that for me, I actually don't tote around a lot of things. I carry a wallet. I carry like some perfume samples and some lip gloss or whatever lipstick I'm wearing that day, a tampon, an extra key for my van. That's literally all I ever carry. That's all you'll ever find in my phone, of course. Um, that's all I ever carry. I've never really been one to carry a lot. I tried that, but I just was like, why? I never used half of it. Um, so I'll swap out my lip, um, combo that I wear every day or, um, any else, anything else that I think I might need to touch up or if I'm going to be gone all day and I'm going to wear false lashes, I'll bring lash glue. Learn that the hard way. Um, so I am just absolutely smitten with this handbag. I think it is beautiful. Um, and I love that you can get it in the gold or the silver. I was debating on the silver, but then my husband liked the gunmetal. He thought it would go better with my leather jacket and just kind of better overall because you don't have to commit to a gold or a silver. And you can wear either jewelry. Like today I'm wearing silver with the gunmetal, um, but you could absolutely wear gold with this. I wanted to give you guys a little look of what this bag looks like on. I'm wearing it crossbody. Now you can take um, the straps off and absolutely carry it, use it more like a handbag style. But honestly, with having children or just shopping in general, this hand, I like to have my hands. I need my hands um, to be able to shop, to hold children's hands. Crossbody for me is just ideal. So do not mind the rest of the outfit, but I just kind of threw on some pumps to make it a little more dressy. Of course, you would not need to do that. And of course, I'm wearing yoga pants. They're palazzo pants, but you know what? I would probably wear this outfit out because it's super comfortable. Dress the things up with a pair of humps. Maybe it'll look cuter with flip-flops or ballet flats, but for the sake of the top half of myself being a little more fancy, I decided to put on the heels. But anyways, this is how it fits on me. I'm 5'4 for reference, and I'm pretty evenly distributed. Like, I don't have really long legs or a really long torso. I'm a pretty even 5'4, so you can see where it hits right about the hip area, um, which... Depending on your height and how you're built, this might hit you differently, but I love that you can take the straps off and carry it as like, say, a clutch, 
or that you can take you know move the straps around and have it be like something you carry on your shoulder now you can absolutely take this off of the crossbody and just do it like a shoulder in fact let me do that so here it is just on your shoulder I actually think this is even cuter with this type of casual type of outfit to not have it be crossbody to just kind of throw it over your shoulder um, I'll probably carry it like this when I don't have children with me or when I have my husband with me because it's just easy to throw on and off but um, when I am doing it alone I need both hands so I love this I think it is absolutely beautiful I love the quilting I love the gunmetal because I feel like you can wear this with silver or gold. Um, looks fabulous against navy and white. I love it so much. So I think you guys would really enjoy this purse so much because it's just a great black staple universally flattering purse. All right, let's get into all of the good stuff. So let's start with this. So I have a new perfume I've been wearing and I am really smitten with this. I think this is gonna be a great, it's super affordable first of all, and I think it's gonna be a great spring summer scent because it's so like sweet and flirty and fun. It's just a great sweet smell. You smell like a beautiful, I don't know, it's delicious. Um, it's called Ultra Sexy Heart and it is by Avon. So I think this is like, I looked it up as like 20 some dollars or something like that. Totally affordable, most perfumes, are usually in anywhere between the 60 and upwards over a hundred dollars now I don't find that this lasts as long as some of my other perfumes but by golly for an inexpensive price I absolutely love it I can see myself using this up by the end of the summer because I don't wear a lot of these types of scents but this one just caught me I was like oh I love the smell of that um, so I kept the box so I could tell you exactly what's in it um, let's see Luscious cherries, irresistible rose petals, and decadent chocolate marshmallow. Intoxicating floral garmand will capture his heart. It is. It is so sweet, but not too sweet. Not like candy, because I don't like, um, let's say, like Britney Spears Fantasy, or some of those are a little bit too sweet, a little bit too young for me now. Not that I'm old or not, you know what I mean? Like some scents are just, I don't know. You know what I'm saying, okay? Justin Bieber perfume, like that... I don't know, I just can't. This I can't because there's because of the rose in it, it's it elevates it to a more sophisticated type of sweet. Oh, I think it's absolutely delicious. And so I think you guys would like this for summer. I just think it's easy. Um, what size is this? 1.7? Yes, 1.7. So loving that. Just a cute little bottle too. And inexpensive, like great little Mother's Day gift, um, great gift for um Anyone, any woman I think would love to wear this. I think it's great. Um, okay, next let's talk about a hair thing. Um, I meant to mention this a while ago, but I have been, I've gone back to this. I had two bottles of this. This is the Wen Sweet Almond Mint Nourishing Mousse. Now let me tell you a little something about mousse. I've tried a lot of different mousse, um, and here's the problem. They tend to weigh my hair down and coat it so it feels, and if you don't like distribute it evenly, then it'll dry and get crunchy and you'll have patches of it. This is the most volumizing yet lightweight mousse I've ever used. I I just have my hair. I wish you could feel my hair. It's so lightweight, but yet it it holds volume after using this mousse. So I put this on with wet hair. Now his products, I use a lot of his products. I've actually gone back to using the Wen uh, cleansing conditioner, um, but you have to use quite a bit, especially if you have a lot of hair. So it is something you're going to go through a lot of which is a downfall, but it works so great. And I don't have to wash my hair more than about twice a week just because I don't have oily hair anymore. And living in this dry climate, all the oils have just evaporated from my head. <laughs> so I love this. I mean, so if you're looking for something that's gonna give you lots of volume, more on the organic, natural ingredient side, not gonna weigh your hair down, smells amazing. Sweet almond mint, such a natural fragrance, um, nothing artificial in here. It's just a great mousse, so absolutely love that. Um, it's in fact pretty much gone. I'm gonna have to use up my last one I have. You can buy this. I think I got it in a duo off of QVC, so you get two. Um, all right, let's talk about my nail polish I'm wearing today. Before I mention the color, this was, I don't know, I wish all SE polishes were made equal, like the formulas. I feel like some colors are really streaky, some are impossible to work with, and then there's others that are fabulous. This is fabulous. This was such an easy formula to work with. Essie's Watermelon. 
just a great staple mid-tone fuchsia pink. Just a great color. Absolutely love it. Um, yeah, watermelon. It went on so easy. I did not have to struggle. And I do not like nail polish I have to struggle with. Um, and the color of this is gorgeous. It's just a flattering pink. I think anyone can wear this color. It's, I mean, it's great. It looks like watermelon. Um, okay, let's get into some makeup here. So, the majority of the past month, um, on a daily basis, this is what I've been wearing. This is the Tarte Amazonian Clay BB Tinted Moisturizer. Um, I actually used to own this and I got rid of it because I didn't understand why it didn't have very much coverage. Um, and that was before I really learned about makeup, but it's a BB Tinted Moisturizer. This is not going to give you a lot of coverage, okay? It's very hydrating though. And right now my skin is oh so dry. I'm wearing a matte foundation today and I don't know. I'm barely able to pull it off even though I absolutely love this foundation I'm about to show you. Um, I don't know. It's like so dry right now. But this is very hydrating. I'd say sheer to light coverage. SPF of 20. This is my go-to thing in the summer too. Like not in the summer when I'm like went out to dinner. Then I like to have more coverage. But I'm talking in the summer, playing out in the sprinkler in the backyard, going to the pool, walking to the playground. I want a little bit of coverage to even out my redness. I want the SPF, but I don't want to have too much makeup on because let's face it, it's windy when there's pollen. I feel like everything's getting stuck to my face. I don't want to wear a lot of makeup, but I want to, you know, look presentable. This is what I wear, a great slap it on situation. Um, this is the shade medium tan. I am self tanned right now, so this is this is the shade I'm wearing now but not normally I would not be this shade. I like it. This, I, I like it for the reasons I mentioned. I also wear this to the gym um, because it gives me a little bit of coverage in my redness. Um, do I sweat it off? Yeah. But at least I look fabulous when I get there. <laughs> um, but I like, I like to feel, I don't know. I, I deal with a lot of breakouts and stuff and sometimes I get you know, self-conscious about how your face looks and whatever. This just takes care of it without adding to the Make you look like you're wearing makeup, I guess. So, I've been enjoying that. Um, the other two foundations I've been rocking and I think are hands down just two foundations you need to try. With the exception of one of them being probably not for someone with dry skin. But, anyways, I digress. Um, Too Faced Born This Way. Cannot go wrong with this. This is what I brought on our little excursion to the Rocky Mountains. Just gives you absolutely flawless, airbrush looking skin. Not cakey, lasts. Amazing absolutely amazing. I mean, this is just impeccable. I love it. I'm in the shade light beige. You cannot go wrong with this. Um, and the one I'm wearing today is the Marc Jacobs Remarkable. This is absolutely fabulous. However, if you have drier patches, this is probably going to cling to it. And I'm telling you that because right now I have drier patches and it's kind of clinging to it. I did do a lot of, oh, look at that black eyeliner traveling down to where it's not supposed to be. Um, I did do a lot of fix plus and stuff just to kind of help. And I do, uh, like hydrating things prior. So if you really prep your skin, if you have dry skin, you could probably get away with this. I would just recommend a hydrating or an illuminating primer, a nice moisturizer, and then set your face with like Fix Plus or something to help get more moisture in. Um, but this lasts all day, makes you look absolutely flawless, and I woke up this morning, I had like a rash on my face, I had a ton of breakouts, and I knew this would not let me down because it would hide everything. So I'm in the shade 27 Bisque Neutral, which I think is a little light for my self tan, but let's not talk about that either. <laughs> um, all right, another thing I've been rocking a lot this month is a pop of color on my lower wa lower waterline, and I've been loving this color. This is the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in the shade Deep End. It's a beautiful teal. This is a great summer eyeliner. It looks beautiful against, like, if you're going to do a coral blush or a coral lip, pop this color on your lower waterline. Just really makes your eye color, just adds interest to the eye. Um, this actually stays really nice on, not on my waterline too much, but it stays all day because I wore this. And I went to the gym, and I was all sweaty, and this was still on. So I was really impressed with that. Um, these do not stay on my waterline, but they do stay on your other parts of, like, for an eyeliner, it stays on really nice. So I've been loving that. Um, because of the whole dry skin situation, I dug out my MAC. This is called the Cream Color Base, but it's I use it as a cream highlighter. It's beautiful. Now, this is called Shell, and it does have a slight pinky undertone to it which I really like when I'm fair. This really just makes your skin look dewy and glowy. 
it's a cream highlighter so I just dab my finger in here and then I apply it to my face and then I take a beauty blender and just kind of like soften it and help like a damp beauty blender and help marry it to my skin all before I set my face with powder which I have not been setting my face with powder because I've been so dry I haven't needed to um, but prior that's what I would do apply all my cream products and then go in with um, the powder so this is beautiful I've had this for way too long I actually bought this way long time ago when I was watching a video Candy Johnson did way back in the day when her quality was horrible but she used this in a wedding tutorial and it just looks stunning so I like this I've actually well I've, I've used quite a bit of it but I'm gonna try to use up that because it's been around for so long all right and lastly we are to my lip products so the com combo I am wearing today I'm really loving I love it for a quick easy pinky kind of nude color which I prefer um, I have other nudes but I've come to realize that pinky nudes are more my jam like they just look better with my skin tone especially when I'm not self tanned and I'm just my natural fair state um, so today I'm wearing the exaggerate full color lip liner by Rimmel in the shade East End snob don't prefer this type of formula in a lip liner because it gets dull and this one's angled and it's kind of hard to get a precise line with it but the color is really nice um, it's just a cool toned pink it's a nice one it's creamy it's just hard to get a precise line with it and then I'm wearing this combo of ColourPop Libby sticks um, Westy which is a matte and Oh Snap which is a matte and I'm not sure if they still have this one because I think this was part of their Christmas collection if it's on there I love it you should grab it if it's not Westy is not the same but I love it <laughs> so I have these two together um, Westy is like a brighter well, not too bright. That's Westy. Kind of reminds me of like Revlon's Primrose or Max Snob or something like that. And then this is Oh Snap, which is more nude. Right there. So that's my lip combo. Just kind of played around with that a while ago and I really enjoyed it. Um, it's just it's just pretty and it's easy. You can't really screw it up. And the other color that's really similar to that that I've been wearing a lot is the Dose of Colors Rosé Lip Gloss. I love these lip glosses. They're super opaque like lipstick, just so you know. That's what the wand looks like. One, one swipe. Incredibly opaque. So this is less like a gloss and more like a liquefied lip, lipstick with a glossy finish. Gives you opaque coverage. I don't really smell any smell, um, but I love this color. It's just that deep rosy shade, just very complimentary, kind of cooler undertone, a little dusty, but I love that kind of color with a smoky eye or for going out at night. It's just, it's like a nude, but there's enough color because sometimes I can get really washed out with nudes um, and I like to do something with a little bit more color. So is that everything? Oh no, I forgot to tell you in the beginning. My, um, I'm trying to play catch up here a little bit. I wanted to get up like some of my favorites I've been loving um, today and then tomorrow. I have another video I've wa been wanting to share with you for a long time. So Monday I will have my Sephora VIB sale haul up for you guys. Um, and I was thinking about doing that today or tomorrow. But I don't know. I just kind of have some things that have been in the waiting for so long <laughs> that I want to get them up first because I know you guys are probably waiting for the VIB haul. I love watching what people get, especially after watching their recommendations video and then seeing what they end up choosing. You know what I mean? So that'll be up Monday. And um, yeah, is there anything else I need to share with you? I don't know. Stay tuned for tomorrow's video. I'm excited about it. Um, and if you're new, welcome. Huge hugs. I hope you subscribe and stay a while. And I need to go check on my kiddos. <laughs> so I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And I'll chat with you tomorrow. Bye, guys.